Hi, I'm Fritz Outman, and this is video tutorial number five in my video tutorial series addressing advanced overall mechanical execution finalized Outman methodology for pitching a baseball in the vertical plane, incorporating advanced the now moment. The topic is crossing your belt line, and parenthetically, and back. I have written on this topic uh, a composition at www.outmanmethodology.com. I invite you to visit my site and read about it there. I will try to be much more succinct uh, in this medium. Crossing your belt line is about employ of your core muscles, glo glove side to pitching side, obliques through the front abs. It, uh, crossing your belt line is part of the rotational acceleration element of my methodology of correct execution and part of the follow through to the release point of the baseball from the pitching end of the pitcher element. There's overlap there. They're crucial to correct execution. Uh, crossing your belt line as part of rotational acceleration involves explosively contracting the glove side obliques followed by the front ab abdominal muscles followed by the pitching side oblique abdominal muscles. And this is an up and over fashion to elevate the pitching side of the pelvis and the pitching shoulder to deliver the pitching shoulder and pitching arm to verticality uh, in relationship to the ground. As you explosively contract your obliques starting in your glove side and cross your belt line, you move to the latissimus dorsi muscle on the pitching side, then the serratus anterior muscle on the pitching side. At that moment, switching, moving to the latissimus dorsi on the pitching side, your body, your brain, will cause you reflexively to contract through the pitching side obliques, back through the front obliques, and then to the glove side oblique abdominal muscles. These keep pulling and help draw the and accelerate the pitching shoulder and pitching side of the body through the release point of the baseball from the pitching hand. I think it's fascinating. Uh, it's something I didn't notice in the beginning of uh, employing uh, and realizing the importance of employing the core muscles to a far greater extent than is uh, uh, employed is the case in uh, all the manifold variations in the conventional mechanical approach for pitching a baseball. And I doubt uh, it's the case uh, in any other mechanical employee of the human physiology for pitching a baseball. But uh, at the point in time when I recognized it, I thought it was fascinating because it's kind of a, almost a slingshot effect. But you don't notice it so much because you should be focused on, on follow through and all the musculature that is being explosively and persistently hard contracted to the release point of the baseball from the fingertips or the, or the, uh, off the fingertips of the pitching hand. But that is what crossing the belt line is about. It's, it's about uh, involving your core muscles far more uh, actively uh, and intently than is otherwise the case. It, it goes along with including more incorporating or rather uh, recruiting more muscle mass to produce greater accelerating force. Additionally, they are, uh, are uh, crucial in rotating the pitching side of the body, which then also has a bearing on the degree of rotation of the, of the physical rotation of the body before release of the baseball from the pitching hand, which also then affects how much rotation is imparted uh, to the pitched ball and how much movement, the quality of movement, the degree of movement, the sharpness of movement, the nearness to the batter of the movement. All these things are uh, intertwined. They're inextricably connected. Crossing your belt line and back. Explosive contraction of the oblique uh, glove side abdominal muscles, frontal pitching side, and then it goes back as your body moves on through the muscles on the pitching side of your body toward the release point of the baseball from your pitching hand. Read about it at www.outmanmethodology.com. I'll see you at video tutorial number six.